The homeless girl warns the billionaire, don't eat that, his wife put poison, a twist that will haunt him for life. In the bustling streets of New York City, where luxury and poverty often collide, a homeless girl named Lily sat quietly on a corner, tucked beneath the shadows of towering skyscrapers. She had seen things most people would never imagine, and her sharp eyes had witnessed the stark contrasts of life, those who had everything and those who had nothing. Yet Lily wasn't just any homeless person, she had a peculiar gift. Her instincts were razor sharp, and over the years she'd developed an uncanny ability to sense danger. One fateful afternoon, Lily's attention was caught by a well-dressed man walking briskly towards a nearby restaurant. He looked out of place in the gritty streets, his expensive suit and polished shoes betraying his status as a wealthy business magnate. The man, Jonathan Blake, was a billionaire known for his ruthless deals and a reputation that sent shivers down the spines of many in the corporate world. But what Jonathan didn't know was that his life was about to change forever. Lily's eyes locked onto him, and her heart raced. She had never seen him before, but something about him felt wrong, as if an invisible warning sign flashed before her. It wasn't his presence, but rather the way he seemed oblivious to the danger creeping up on him. The moment he stepped into the restaurant, she felt the weight of an undeniable urge. Don't eat that, she shouted, her voice barely a whisper to him, but loud enough to carry through the chaos of the street. His wife put poison in it. The words left her mouth without hesitation, and for a split second, she wondered if she was simply imagining things. Jonathan froze in his tracks, the words of the homeless girl piercing through the noise of the city. For a moment, he couldn't process what she had said. Poison? His wife? The shock of the accusation left him momentarily paralyzed. But curiosity, and perhaps a slight sense of disbelief, propelled him to ignore the warning and proceed inside the restaurant. After all, why would anyone, let alone his wife, wish him harm? Inside the lavish dining room, the warm ambiance contrasted sharply with the cold, hard reality outside. Jonathan was led to a private table by a smiling hostess, and as he sat, his mind raced. The girl's warning replayed in his head, but he dismissed it as the ramblings of someone who had lost their grip on reality. His wife, Amelia, was a woman of grace and charm, certainly not the kind of person to engage in such malicious behavior. He shook his head trying to focus on the business meeting ahead. Amelia, his beautiful and poised wife, entered the restaurant shortly after, her elegant presence immediately capturing the attention of everyone in the room. She smiled warmly at him, her eyes sparkling as she took a seat across from him. Without missing a beat, the waiter brought out their meal, an exquisite dish he had ordered, served on a silver platter. Jonathan smiled at Amelia, confident that tonight would be just another successful evening in their comfortable, yet increasingly distant marriage. But as he reached for the fork, a nagging thought lingered in the back of his mind. Was it possible that the warning from the girl had some truth to it? The thought almost made him hesitate, but before he could second-guess himself, Amelia's voice broke the silence, soft and soothing. Go ahead, darling. Enjoy your meal. Jonathan's hand hovered above the fork, his mind in turmoil. A part of him was screaming to listen to the homeless girl's warning, but another part dismissed it as paranoia. After all, why would Amelia, the woman he loved and trusted, want to harm him? He glanced at her, her smile radiant, her eyes locked onto his with a mix of affection and anticipation. She was everything he had ever wanted, so why would she hurt him? The moment hung in the air like a heavy fog, and despite his best efforts to shake off the feeling of unease, Jonathan couldn't ignore the nagging thought that wouldn't leave his mind. He quickly pushed it aside, deciding that there was no reason to suspect anything. The girl had to be mistaken, or perhaps just playing tricks on him. 
Amelia wouldn't hurt him. She couldn't. But as Jonathan finally lifted the fork to take his first bite, time seemed to slow down. His hand trembled slightly, betraying his unease. He stared at the dish before him. The perfectly cooked steak, the rich sauce, the delicate sides, all so carefully prepared, so tempting. Yet a part of him felt paralyzed, as if something was telling him to stop. The homeless girl's words echoed again, louder this time. Don't eat that! His wife put poison! With a deep breath, Jonathan forced himself to take a bite, trying to calm the storm raging inside him. But as the first taste hit his tongue, something felt off. It wasn't just the flavor, it was the sensation, a strange, bitter aftertaste that clung to his mouth. He swallowed hard, trying to dismiss the discomfort, but his body was already starting to react. He felt a faint burning in his throat, a slight dizziness. Was it just his imagination, or was there truth to the girl's warning? Jonathan's heart began to race as he put the fork down, his stomach churning with a mix of anxiety and disbelief. The burning sensation in his throat intensified, and his head started to spin. He glanced at Amelia, who was still watching him, her expression full of hope. Are you okay? She asked softly, her voice laced with concern. He tried to respond, but his mouth felt dry and his tongue seemed to swell. Panic gripped him as he struggled to form words, his breath becoming shallow. He was losing control of his body. This wasn't just a bad meal. Something was happening to him. Something was terribly wrong. His mind raced back to the homeless girl's warning. His wife put poison. The thought hit him like a thunderclap. He could no longer deny the possibility that she was telling the truth. Amelia, the woman he trusted, the one he had built a future with, might actually be trying to kill him. Desperation flooded his senses. He needed help. He needed to act fast. But his body was betraying him. His vision blurred and his limbs grew heavy, as if they were made of lead. He was beginning to lose consciousness. The room around him seemed to spin, and his gaze fell on the dinner table. The luxurious feast now a sinister reminder of what had just transpired. Amelia was still smiling, unaware or maybe pretending to be unaware of the horrors unfolding within Jonathan's body. Her face, once a symbol of love and trust, now seemed cold and distant. A wave of regret washed over him. Had he been blind all this time? Had his wealth and status made him vulnerable to betrayal? With a final burst of strength, Jonathan managed to stand, his legs wobbling beneath him. He tried to make his way to the door, but the poison had already taken its toll. Everything went black. Jonathan woke up in a cold sweat, his chest heaving as he gasped for air. His vision was blurry, but he could make out the faint shape of a figure sitting by his bedside. It was a man, someone he didn't recognize. The man's face was hardened, his eyes sharp and calculating. Easy there, the stranger said in a calm, steady voice. You've been out for a while. We had to pump your stomach. Jonathan blinked, his mind still foggy from the poison. Slowly, the pieces began to fall into place. The dinner. The warning. The strange sensation spreading through his body. Amelia. He managed to croak, his voice hoarse. Where is she? What happened? The man's expression tightened, a flicker of something unreadable crossing his face. She's gone, he said quietly. We took care of it. You're safe now. Jonathan's heart sank as the reality of the situation hit him. Amelia had been behind it all. But who was this man, and why had he helped him? A thousand questions flooded his mind, but before he could speak, the man cut him off. You don't need to know who I am, he said, his tone unwavering. What matters is that you survive this. I'll get you out of here, but you need to understand something. 
This goes deeper than your wife. There are people in your circle, people you trust, who would see you gone. You were a target long before tonight. Jonathan's mind raced. He had always thought of himself as untouchable, invincible. But now he was learning the hard way just how fragile his world really was. A feeling of dread gripped him as he realized that the battle for his life had only just begun. The billionaire stood frozen, unable to grasp the gravity of what had just happened. His mind raced, torn between disbelief and the creeping horror that his entire life had been a lie. The homeless girl's warning was not just about the poison. It was a revelation about his blind trust, his arrogance, and the lies that had been hidden right under his nose. For the first time, he questioned everything. His wealth, his relationships, and most painfully, the woman he had trusted above all others. The twist in his fate was devastating, but it was also liberating. The life he had built, the empire he had so carefully crafted, now felt hollow. What was the point of it all if he couldn't trust those closest to him? The homeless girl had done more than save his life. She had shattered his illusions. She had shown him that power and money were not everything. Trust, loyalty, and love were the true foundations of a meaningful life. And he had neglected them. As he looked around, the lavish mansion, the wealth, and the prestige all seemed meaningless. He could never undo the betrayal, but perhaps he could start rebuilding the pieces of his life with a newfound understanding. He may never see the girl again, but her words would haunt him for the rest of his life, forever altering the way he viewed the world and his place in it.